Hey guys, Tech Commercial with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your iPhone if you're experiencing SIM card failure after iOS 17 update or any software update on your phone. So you want to follow these steps, hopefully, to fix your issue. So let's get started. So the very first thing you want to do is put your phone on airplane mode by simply pulling down the control menu here, put airplane mode just like that briefly and turn it back off. You can also do this from your setting by going to your settings, airplane mode on, and then off and it does a quick network refresh so if you're having issues with the network connectivity it will fix that issue for you now after you have done that and you're still having the issue the next thing to do is if your phone has a physical sim card this is for if it does for using an e-sim card it won't apply to you but if you have a physical sim card take your sim ejector tool or if you have a if you don't have this tool you can also take a paper clip bend it just like this which will make a tool like that or anything that will be able to pop out the sim card for a moment and we'll pop it out briefly and then reinsert it back and that will reinitialize the SIM card and hopefully after that your service is working. Now let's say it's still not working, what else can you do? Well, the next thing you want to do in terms of troubleshooting your iPhone is doing a force restart. So in order to do a force restart, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down one and after another and finally hold this side button until the screen goes completely black. You see the Apple logo up here, at that time you'll let go of that button. So we'll do volume up volume down finally hold this side button and that will shut down the phone completely and then reload the code so if it's a software related issue it will hopefully fix that for you so as you can see here i'm still holding that side button here waiting for that app logo to reappear and then i let go of that button again the sequence is volume up followed by volume down one after another really quick and then finally the side button until you see the Apple logo appear. Now this method will not delete any of your personal data, so all your photos, videos, apps will be safe. You don't have to worry about that. And hopefully after that, you're getting your SIM card to work. Now let's say it's still not working. The next thing you want to do is go into your setting of your iPhone. You go to your general one all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone. We're going to click on that. We're going to click on reset. And then it will show you the option to do a network reset. And the network reset basically resets things like Wi-Fi, uh, pass, save password, any con Bluetooth connected devices, and any network related settings themselves. There's no personal data that will be deleted. And once you do that, it will hopefully fix your problem for you. It should take about a minute or two to do. So go ahead and try that. Now, after you have done that, let's say it's still not working. The next thing you can do is check if there's a carrier update available. The way to check a carrier update is available is simple by going into your setting of your iPhone, you go to general, and then about. So once you go on about, give it a moment. It, there is a carrier update available, it'll say update carrier. If there isn't, it's going to be just like this. So it's kind of a, one of those updates that only will pop up if it's available. So just keep on trying to see if there's an update available. And if not, that's fine. That means your phone is already up to date with the carrier updates. Now, the next thing you want to do, again, this seems to fix it for some weird reason, is you need to swap the SIM with another phone. It can be an iPhone or Android phone or Samsung phone, whatever the phone is, any other phone that you can use your SIM card in. So let's say you have a SIM card here on one phone, you want to move it to another phone. Maybe if you have a work phone or another backup phone that works with your SIM card, you can take out the SIM card and then swap it on the other device, same thing and then wait for it to read the SIM card on the other device and then take that SIM card and put it back into the phone that you want it to work on. And after doing that, for some reason, there if there is an update, it will update it on that phone and hopefully fix it for you. Seem for some users on some networks like we've seen in the Verizon network and some other networks, for some reason, this is happening and it fixed it for them. So go ahead and try that. Now after you have done that, the last thing you can do on your iPhone is updating their iOS version by going to your settings, general, software update, and see if there's an update available. Now, if there's an update available, it'll pop up here, and you should see something like this, where you can go to general, uh, uh, software update, and if there's an update, we'll see here, update now. You click, click on down, update now, and give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes for you to successfully download the update, make sure your phone is at least 50% or more charged, and hopefully after the update, your phone is fixed. Now, the very last thing to do if you tried all of this and you simply can't get the SIM card to work is contacting your carrier to see if they can push out any updates on their side or even give you a potentially uh, another configuration for eSIM or your physical SIM card. You might have to get a new SIM card as well, and that's something your carrier can uh, let you know what you need to do. 
And I hope this video was helpful in fixing your SIM card failure on your iPhone. If so, please click the like and subscribe button. Also, if you found a better way to fix a problem, do share with us in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.